Hi, it's Will from Pickup Media, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use a digital camera with the Gem Light Box. Inside the Gem Light Box today, we have a three stone ring, three diamonds set in an 18 karat white gold setting. I've got my digital camera set up over here. So we're using a 60 mm macro lens today, and we're using auto aperture. We've turned our ISO to the lowest possible so that we don't get any graininess, and our exposure is on plus two. One very important setting that I would suggest when using digital cameras is to use a self-timer. So as you can see, most of the cameras have a self-timer, which means that once you press the button, it will probably count down from two seconds or whatever you set it as and automatically capture after that. So what I've done here is just set a two second timer so that once I press the capture button, it will wait two seconds before it does the shot. This will make sure that the camera does not shake at all when we're doing photography. So let's get started. All we got to do is put the reflector onto the gem light box. I've got my camera pointed into the gem light box. As you can see, I can move it up or down and just make sure that I've got the perfect angle that I'm aiming for. Next, I will tap to focus. And once I'm ready, click to capture. It will count down two seconds as I've shown you before and do this shot automatically. And as you can see, just like that, we've captured a very beautiful shot that's fully in focus. Next, I'll show you how to do a video using the Gem Lightbox application and a smartphone. Over here, we have the Gem Lightbox application. We are connected to Bluetooth to the Gem Lightbox. Now let's go to camera. Let's click on video. Let's put the phone sideways over here like so. And once I'm ready, simply click to capture. So a lot of our clients always ask us, when should we use DSLR cameras or should we even use digital cameras at all? The answer to that is really dependent on what expectation you have on your photo quality. For videos, we would suggest using the smartphone. That's because it's much easier, it's much quicker, and it just takes me 15 seconds to create a 4K video using the Gem Light Box application. In terms of photo quality, just gonna take a photo for you so that you can compare them side by side. Tap to focus, brighten up, click to capture. So that would be my photo on my smartphone and you would see that it's on a complete white background. Also extremely sharp and in focus as well. On the DSLR camera, you will see that it appears a little bit sharper, but the contrast and the background is not completely white. It would depend on what you want to do with your photos. Generally, if we're doing any large poster prints, we will use a digital camera to take the shot. We will then do some retouching on this image to make sure that it's on a white background. We'll remove all these little scratches and dust underneath the ring. And that will give us a nice result. Next, I'm going to be setting up our Gem Lightbox add-on called Eclipse to allow us to create beautiful black background videos and photos. So simply take the lid off the Gem Lightbox. We put the Eclipse on top of the turntable inside the Gem Lightbox. Simply lift open the Eclipse, make sure that it's set up properly, and let's put our jewelry inside. Next, let's put our reflector on. Let's use our DSLR camera to take a shot first. So let's just go back to our camera setting over here. Again, tap to focus. So it seems the exposure was a bit high on that one. So I'm just going to tune down the exposure so that we get a nice black background. Let's try again. So tap to focus and click to capture. And just like that, we've got a beautiful black background photo. Now 
Next, let's go back to our smartphone application over here. Go to video mode, click on the filters button and click on Eclipse. Next, I'm gonna put my phone sideways, tap to focus, brighten up. And once I'm ready, simply click to capture. and finish. So let's save that and let's take a photo now. Again, tap to focus and brighten up or down and click to capture. And let's save that. Go back to our gallery and let's just make a quick comparison with the smartphone and the DSLR camera. Thanks for watching. Any questions, feel free to reach out.